I'll do some IB physics questions about mechanic. So here we have an object where we have three object, three force acting on it, friction, the weight, and the normal force. And we're looking for the maximum coefficient of static friction. Okay? Which means I need to find the friction and the normal force. Okay, first of all, I'm going to be using the second law of Newton in the x-axis. So here I can break down the weight into component. I have the component on the x-axis is W x, another component on the y-axis W y. Okay, so this is the theta, the angle. So here for the x-axis, I'm going to be using the x-axis. I'm going to be using the second law of Newton to find friction. Okay, so here uh, the friction, I'm going to take the down as the positive direction, which means Wx minus F is equal to M times A. This is the net force. So I know that the block is at rest, it's not moving, which means the acceleration is equal to zero. So the friction is equal to Wx. And Wx, you can see here that this is Wx. So this is the opposite side, which means Wx is the weight, which is the high point times sine theta. Okay, so we found the friction. Now let's find the normal force. So you can see that the normal force, now for the y-axis, the normal force, this is the y-axis, this is my opposite direction, is equal r minus wy, which is zero. So here it's equal zero because here we have no motion in the y-axis, okay? So now r is equal wy. And what's wy? So here you can see here this is wy is the adjacent side of the triangle which means it's going to be cosine it's going to be adjacent which is w times cosine of theta okay so now uh, f is w sine theta is equal to the coefficient of static friction times r which is w cosine theta so now coefficient of static friction is simply so I'm gonna just yeah, simplify by W, then we cancel out, which means this is sine theta divided by cosine theta, which is tangent of theta. So the coefficient of static friction is equal to tangent theta, which means the right answer is C.